Hi students, welcome to the channel NCRT Maths Tutor. If you like this video, please click the like button, share and subscribe. In this video, I am explaining the solution of exercise 4.1, chapter 4, principle of mathematical induction. Question number 16 and 17. Question number 16, 1 by 1 into 4 plus 1 by 4 into 7 plus 1 by 7 into 10 plus so on up to plus 1 by 3n minus 2 into 3n plus 1 is equal to n by 3n plus 1. Now, let us say that the given statement is P of n. The first step is here we have to prove, we have to check the given statement for n is equal to 1. So, I will take here P of 1. So, to check that from the left hand side, I am taking the first term of the statement. The first term of the left hand side is 1 by 1 into 4. That is, is equal to from the right hand side, I will consider the entire term which is n divided by 3n plus 1. Now here, wherever you have n, replace that with the value 1. So, 1 divided by 3 into 1 plus 1. So, 1 by 3 plus 1 which is 4, 1 by 4. Here also we have 1 into 4 that is 1 by 4. So, LHS is equal to RHS. That means, now we can say that the given statement is true for n is equal to 1. So, now here the P of 1 is true. The second step we can start. The second step is assuming the statement for some positive integer k. So, here we assume that the P of k statement is true for integer k. So, wherever you have n, replace that n with the value k. So, we get the P of k statement. P of k 1 by 1 into 4 plus 1 by 4 into 7 plus 1 by 7 into 10 plus so on up to plus 1 by 3k minus 2 into 3k plus 1 is equal to k by 3k plus 1. Now let us say that this is statement 1. This is our assumption. Then step 3. In the step 3, by using the assumption, now we have to prove that the statement P of k plus 1 is also true. So, to prove that, first we will write the statement P of k plus 1. So, how to write the statement P of k plus 1? The only change is that, see already we have here P of k statement. To this P of k statement, you add the k plus 1 term. So, here see P of k plus 1. So, 1 by 1 into 4 plus 1 by 4 into 7 plus 1 by 7 into 10 plus so on up to plus 1 by 3k minus 2 into 3k plus 1. This is the left hand side of P of k statement. Now, we are writing P of k plus 1. So, to this you add one more term that is k plus 1 term. After k, we have k plus 1 term. So, how to write that k plus 1 term? To write the k plus 1 term, wherever you have k in the k term, make that as k plus 1. So, we have here 1 by, see, 3 into, here we have k, k plus 1 minus 2. The remaining values are same. Into 3 into k plus 1. This k is replaced by k plus 1 plus 1. The remaining values are same. Then is equal to. See, now here this is the k plus 1 term. So, if you have a k term, we write like this way, k by 3k plus 1. Now, here we have on the left hand side k plus 1 term up to k plus 1 term. So, again here on the right hand side, wherever you have k here, replace that with k plus 1 for p of k plus 1. So, here we have k for p of k. Now, we are writing p of k plus 1. So, make that as k plus 1 divided by 3 into k plus 1. See here k plus 1 plus 1. So, now this is our p of k plus 1 statement where we need to reach to this solution, this answer. So, how we can get this one? See here to prove that the p of k plus 1 statement is also true, here I will consider the left hand side of p of k plus 1. 
So I am taking the left hand side of P of k plus 1 that is 1 by 1 into 4 plus 1 by 4 into 7 plus 1 by 7 into 10 plus so on up to plus 1 by 3k minus 2 into 3k plus 1 plus the k plus 1 term value. See now here if you compare this value with our assumption that is P of k this particular value is nothing but the left hand side of P of k which already we know that this is, is equal to k by 3k plus 1 from our assumption. So now this part I am replacing with this value. So k divided by 3k plus 1 plus then we have the remaining value that is 1 by 3 into k plus 1 minus 2 into 3 into k plus 1 plus 1. Now again simplify this one. See again I have written here the same term k divided by 3k plus 1 plus 1 by the value. See this you can multiply and you can simplify. See 1 by 3k plus 3. 3k in plus 3 minus 2. Then this become 3k plus 3 plus 1. This is nothing but plus 3 and minus 2 we have which is 3k plus 1. This is 3k plus 3 and plus 1 3k plus 4. Now you can take here the common denominator value which is 3k plus 1 and 3k plus 4. So 3k plus 1, 3k plus 4. If you take the common denominator here then here we don't have a 3k plus 4. So k into 3k plus 4 plus 1 divided by 3k plus 1 into 3k plus 4. Then you multiply this k with this. So we get here 3k square plus 4k plus 1 divided by the denominator value. Then see as we want to take the common value out as we need to get in the numerator here k plus 1 term. So here this 4k I will split and write. Uh, this 4k I am writing as 3k plus 1k so that we can take here 3 out. That means we get here k plus 1 as a common factor. So that we need in the uh, numerator. So that's why I am doing that. So 4k I am writing as 3k plus 1k which is nothing but 4k only. So now see here if you take these two terms. From these two terms you can take 3k out. Then the remaining is k here and the remaining is here 1. Plus here we have you can take 1 out so the remaining is k plus 1 divided by 3k plus 1 into 3k plus 4. Now here uh, in this term among these two terms we have k plus 1 here as well as k plus 1 here. That means k plus 1 you can take out. So if I take k plus 1 out here the remaining is 3k and here the remaining value is 1 divided by 3k plus 1 into 3k plus 4. Now you can cancel these two values as we have a common value here same value then k plus 1 divided by 3k plus 4. See we need this particular value almost we have raised to the solution in the numerator we have k plus 1 but in the denominator it is 3k plus 1 plus 1. So see this 4 I am writing as 3 plus 1 which is nothing but 3k plus 4 only. So 3k plus 3 plus 1. Now see among these two terms I can take 3 out. So if I take 3 out I get here k plus 1 and plus 1 which is nothing but our RHS. See while uh, simplifying these uh, values you have to see the p of k plus 1 right hand side. By seeing that if you try to simplify then it will be easier for you to reach to the RHS side. So now here we have reached to the RHS that means uh, now we can say that the statement P of k plus 1 is uh, true whenever P of k is true. So hence uh, by principle of mathematical induction now here uh, the statement P of n is true for all the set of natural numbers. So this is about question number six so 16 solution. Next here we will discuss the question number 17 solution. The question number 17 is 1 by 3.5 plus 1 by 5.7 plus 1 by 7.9 plus so on up to plus 1 by 2n plus 1 into 2n plus 3 is equal to n by 3 into 2n plus 3. Now let us say that the given statement is p of n. So now this first step is we have to check the statement for n is equal to 1 that is 
for p of 1. So to check that from the given statement from the left hand side I will consider the first term which is uh, 1 by 3 into 5. 1 by 3 into 5 that is, is equal to here we have 1 by the right hand side entire term here we have n replace that with the value 1 as we are checking for n is equal to 1. So 1 by 3 into 2 into 1 plus 3. So 3 into 5 which is nothing but 15. 1 by 15 we have here is equal to this becomes the 2 plus 3 which is 5. Then 5 into 3 that is also 15. So 1 by 15 is equal to 1 by 15. So here LHS is equal to RHS. That means now we can say that the given statement is true for n is equal to 1. Next as we have checked for n is equal to 1 and it is true. Now we can proceed to the second step. The second step is making the assumption. Here to make the assumption we take some pause to integer k and we assume that the statement p of k is true for that integer. So first step is here we have to write the statement p of k. So how we can write the statement p of k? To write the statement p of k in the given statement wherever you have uh, n you can replace that with the value k. So we get the statement p of k as 1 by 3 into 5 plus 1 by 5 into 7 plus 1 by 7 into 9 plus 1 up to plus 1 by 2k plus 1 into 2k plus 3 is equal to k by 3 into 2k plus 3. Now let us say that the this particular statement is 1, statement 1. Next, by using this assumption, now we have to prove that the statement is also true for p of k plus 1. So to prove that, first let us write the p of k plus 1 statement. p of k plus 1 statement means here we are adding one more term after k, that is k plus 1 term. So we have your p of k plus 1 statement as uh, the some uh, most of the values are same as k statement that is 1 by 1 by 3 into 5 plus 1 by 5 into 7 plus 1 by 7 into 9 plus 1 up to 1 by 2k plus 1 into 2k plus 3. See this is up to k term. Here we are writing k plus 1 term. So plus you have to add the k plus 1 term. 1 divided by 2 into wherever you have k make that one as k plus 1. So 2 into k plus 1 plus 1 into 2 into k plus 1 plus 3. So this is the left hand side. See now the left hand side is up to k term. Sorry k plus 1 term. If it is up to k term we have k divided by 3 into 2k plus 3. Now it is up to k plus 1 term. So again here you have to write up to k plus 1 term means k is replaced by k plus 1 divided by 3 into 2 into k is replaced by k plus 1 plus 3. So this is our p of k plus 1. We need to prove this one. I mean we need to reach to this particular RHS value. So how we can reach that? So here I will consider the left hand side of the p of k plus 1 statement. That is uh, this one, this much part. Here if you compare this one with our assumption, you can see that on the left hand side, this much part is nothing but our left hand side of p of k. So and uh, by our assumption we know that this value is equal to k by 3 into 2k plus 3. So now I am replacing this value with this that is from our assumption k by 3 into 2k plus 3. So k by 3 into 2k plus 3 plus we have the k plus 1 term value 1 by 2 into k plus 1 plus 1 2 into k plus 1 plus 3. See now you can simplify this one as uh, this one remain as it is 2k if you multiply 2k plus 2 plus 1 then 2k plus 2 plus 3. So we get here 1 by this become 2k plus 2 plus 3 2k plus 3 and this one uh, 2k plus 2 plus 3 that is 2k plus 5. So here we have k by 3 into 2k plus 3 plus 1 by 2k plus 3 into 2k plus 5. Now you can take the common uh, denominator value here from this uh, if you take the common denominator here see we have the common denominator as 3 into 2k plus 3 into 2k plus 5 so this becomes k into 2k plus 5 so k into 2k plus 5 plus 3 plus 3 now here if you multiply this with this we get 2k square plus 5k plus 3 divided by the denominator value then See, as we need here uh, some k plus term out in the final answer in the RHS side. So, that's why here I am uh, splitting this 5k as 2k plus 3k. So, that I can take here common values out. So, I will write 
फाइव के एस टू के प्लस थ्री के सो दैट फ्रॉम दिस वी कैन टेक टू के आउट एंड फ्रॉम दिस वी कैन टेक थ्री आउट सो इफ आई टेक हियर टू के आउट टू के आउट द रिमाइनिंग इज के हियर एंड द रिमाइनिंग इज वन हियर प्लस फ्रॉम दिस आई विल टेक थ्री आउट सो द रिमाइनिंग इज के हियर हियर द रिमाइनिंग इज वन डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री इंटू टू के प्लस थ्री इंटू टू के प्लस फाइव नाउ हियर द कॉमन टर्म वी हैव दैट इज के प्लस वन here as well as here so you take that out k plus 1 if i take out here the remaining value is 2k plus 3 divided by 3 into 2k plus 3 into 2k plus 5 then here we have same value so you can cancel that after cancellation we get here k plus 1 divided by 3 into 2k plus 5 see we have uh, reached some out to the like uh, solution see here we have k plus 1 then this you have to make some some, some changes here 2k plus 5 you can write as 2k plus 2 plus 3 right then here from this i can take 2 out if i take 2 out from this 2 into k plus 1 this becomes plus 3 we have and this is nothing but rhs this is nothing but the right hand side of p of k plus 1 that i have written here so now we have reached to the rhs that means uh, we can say that now the statement p of k plus 1 is true whenever p of k is true so hence uh, by principle of mathematical induction now we can say that the given statement is true for all the set of natural numbers thanks for watching